Tony Poulos here at TM Forum's Digital Transformation World in Nice. Today I have with me Adriano Poloni from Accenture. Adriano, firstly, welcome and thank you for being here today. I understand that Accenture has just collaborated with the TM Forum to produce a new report called Blockchain, Where's the Value for Telecoms? Can you tell me a little more about that? Well, I think that the question is the number one question in the mind of everybody in our industry. And the report is trying to answer presenting real cases about how the telcos are really exploiting and to which extent this new technology in our industry. Tell us, where do you see the value of blockchain and where it will be used in the telcos? Uh, well, I think that you can really divide the use case domain into block the data sharing and data mutualization type of use cases and the transfer of value type of use case. Both uh, will be applicable and leveraged in our industry. Actually, the first one a bit more earlier in my perception. In this category, in the, this first data sharing category, you can uh, comprise all the use cases that are pertaining scenarios where multiple parties, not necessarily trusting each other, are in the needs to share and collaborate against the same data. Track and trace supply chain scenario, uh, roaming settlement type of scenarios, and so on. Those type of scenarios today are quite inefficient provide quite uh, a limited user experience and are prone to cost of third party authority clearing house that the blockchain can help to avoid and improving the user experience. Also in the second category, the transfer of value, so the tokenization, the, we, will, we are seeing some scenarios actually moving in the implementation phase. There are many proofs of concept in the field at the moment, but what do you see as the barriers for the adoption of blockchain? I think that the uh, probably most important barrier is try to refrain to jump to the technicality of uh, the blockchain. That uh, somehow is exciting, in particular the more tech-savvy executives, but in fact is more important to, to look after the blockchain opportunity, first of all, from an ecosystem collaboration perspective, understanding the value for all the parties involved, understanding which are the governance that can be put around, and then also based on that type of information, move to pick up the right technology solution and platform. And how does a company like Accenture play in the blockchain ecosystem? Well, Two information. First, uh, we want to be a positive force in advancing the industry and the ecosystem itself for what pertain to the blockchain. So we are participating as a member in the major consortium. So we are founding member, for example, of the Hyperledger uh, Foundation. We are founding member of the Enterprise Alliance uh, Solution. And this type of participation is fundamental to push forward the, 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 the industry. Then we have also specific tool set connected to what I just mentioned uh, before, uh, an important piece of uh, thought leadership that we develop uh, specific for the blockchain is the blockchain readiness assessment and value exploration tool set. This is a tool set and a methodology that can really help at the beginning of the journey to assess the opportunity, the status of the organization and the value dimension, the value drivers for the solution. That is clearly then connected to a framework, an architectural DLT framework that we develop to be sure to address in a proper way all the dimension of the blockchain solutions. Well, Adriano, it looks like Accenture is playing a critical part in that new blockchain ecosystem. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Tony. It was a pleasure.